check this out so here we go we are back out on a barrier island beach in beaufort south carolina and we've been taking the people along on the channel seashelling and in the last video i told all the people watching that we would check out this traco a pretty interesting thing right here washed up or stuck on a barrier island beach here in south carolina check this out this monster Wow, stuck in the sand. And I've been coming to this beach right here 10 years, eight, 10 years. And always great to see that when we come out here. It just, it's about the ending of the little walk that we're on shallow. So we're gonna get back to shallow with the shallows. Thanks for coming along. Let's do this. Steph spotted a live starfish. A little one in the tide pool right there. And another one of those shark uh, egg collars up there in the tide pool. Shark eye egg collar. Cool. And just look at the beauty that surrounds us when we're out here on this Barrier Island beach. Just me, Steph, and nature, right, Steph? Can you count the points? Beautiful. Steph, can you count the points on that one tonight? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so what good is it to bring you guys along on videos if we can't cut up and have a little fun while we're out here doing it? That's all it's all about, just a little humor. Gotta be careful here. Yep. Slick. Muddy out here. Mud slick. So where you got it? You can reach it. <laughs> Look how black that black is. And look how black this sediment this dark black mud has stained this shell you can almost see exactly the position it would have been sitting down in the mud see it right there that's a beauty just cradled down in the mud i can imagine it sitting down just like this
Look at that. Some type of driftwood. Wow, what's this? Maybe just a piece of the bark. Almost look like a piece of turtle shell for a second there. What about this one? Look at that stuff. Oh, that's a pretty one too. Whoa. Nice. Look at that little forest one. Pitted holes. Yep. And what would cause that stuff? I think the boring sponge causes that. Eats at them. Absorbing their shell. Taking their nutrients. I would kill. A little small olive stuck right there in one of those little divots. Just clean the mud out. This is what I love about shelling. I love to be out here and just all away from anything but nature. It is amazing. You stuff? Yeah, well, I love to be out in nature. Beautiful stuff. I see some uh, minnows in the tide pool. Stuff. Got some mud minnows in the tide pool. See if we can get a little glimpse of them. We're looking for those beautiful shells. Okay. You going to get the wagon? Check out this tide pool. See if we see anything spectacular. Driftwood. And another piece. I really don't know if you'd call this driftwood or not. It's probably part of a root system that has been eroded from around so would you call that driftwood also
Check that one out, Steph. That one is pretty. Found this one too, just a second ago. Gorgeous little beauties. How clear the water is. Seeing lots of oysters, clams. There's a big piece of wilt, but I can tell that it's broken. That was a big wilt, though. Piece. Got a whole section broken off of it. Still pretty though. Here. Kind of rust colored and gray. Got some coral there. Trying to rinse it off mud stuck all in that coral. It's pretty. Another big piece, but it's broken. Big cockle shell. That piece of a tin shell there. The coloration of it. Pretty, pretty. So there's several broken. I'm just gonna just step over another piece there. There's one there. Broken ones. Clean it out, make your hermit crab will find it. Right Ooh, that was pretty. It's worth getting your arm wet. Be cold. Your boat going by. Another broken one. <laughs> leave that one there. Yep. Let's clean it out a bit more. Yeah. Oliver said our wagon's getting full. That's a good thing, right? All y'all shellers. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. I know you don't call that there no full wagon though, no Steph, because it ain't full full. <laughs> it's not full full. We're gonna get it full full. We're gonna get it. Look at the footprints in the sand. Does that remind you guys of anything? The sand is soft, making it hard to drag that wagon through. We get you got it, those. Oliver? Look at them tires. I They're trying to hang in there. I've got them pulling. I'm pulling it. I'm getting it. Salt water's eating them up. We're They're getting get rusty. Going. We're going to take you guys on these selling videos. We're, We're going to try our best. Time. We're putting in the effort. We had to wait to a nice day. You sit back, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because we're gonna keep coming. We love it. Get on Woo! up here to this 
Hot Todd Long. Let me slow down. Coming up through there, I got pretty tight. But look at the way this has changed right here with the stuff. You see the sand blown over the shells beyond this point right here that we're calling the high tide line. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go down this high tide line. We can't really see what's up there unless it's a big shell. Right. And, you know, we're looking for them shells. Sailor's ear, it's got a little hole in a arc. We're still looking. Pretty cuckle. Got oranges and whites. And this is a little periwinkle snail. I know a lot of y'all probably saw that sitting there on the corner. How many of you would put your boat in, come out here, walk this beach, mile and a half each way, three miles to make videos? We're the only crazy ones? We'll do it. We'll do it, right, Steph? We will do we'll it. We'll do it for y'all. You guys. You guys, make sure you hit a like and subscribe on the videos to show him that you want him to keep on bringing me out here. Letting us show y'all some of these pretty finds. What you gonna do with all these shells, stuff? We like to give them away to you guys. So. That's right. Share the love, right? See the wind blowing shells. Not that this is specifically the high tide line of this beach, you guys. Different times of the month, the tides change. Sometimes the high tide line is still up here to these sand dunes. So if you ever venture out to these beaches, you know, you need to know where your high tide line really is and what you can explore and stuff. Stay off the dunes. Um, don't get in none of the reeds because that helps with the erosion. You still got those starfish in here. What was you saying, Steph? Oysters galore through here. Oysters, Oysters galore. are everywhere. Oysters galore. What? Oysters galore. Everywhere. There's everywhere right here. I bet some people watching probably love to eat some oysters and see those oyster shells pile up like that around them. Oliver loves oysters. Do y'all like oysters? little up close look at some shells. Mm -hmm. No, I was just looking. You seen something? No. Check this out. Check these stumps out. But first, check this out. I'm oh, broken. Oh, that's Little olive shell. So we're seeing more shells in this area but is the quality of shells 
as good as we were seeing in other areas. Beach gives what the beach gives. You like right the way I second. said that stuff? Yeah, right this second is a little sparse. Little angel wing, little false angel wing, I believe. Let's look at them. Look under that one, Steph. The root right there. Look what's trapped under there. This is awesome. Pull it out of this backside. Gorgeous. What? Now that's cool right there to see that stump just out here on this beach and just see that underneath it. Wow. You Good eye, know. Oliver. You spotted it you too. You never know what you're going to find. How about that there? What's that? Another one. Two of them. Two of them. Oh, they're hermit crabs. I see him. He's got his legs out right there. I'm not even going to mess with him. And his eyeballs were out. Oh, he may ducked in. And that one. Hopefully, I got to see that one before he ducked in too. Two what little hermits. Think? What you think, guys? Better check them stomp. We're checking them. Look you at know all the how shells. All the shellers has got to do it stuff. We got to look at everything very thoroughly. Isn't that beautiful though? That's where all those shells are packed into that stomp. Where it's rotted over time. Gorgeous. Let's check these then. What artwork though. Beautiful. Even though it didn't hold any shells like the other beauty did. Well, how about this piece of driftwood right down there in that tire pool? I find that interesting. Look at this. And this just fell over. Would have been, you know, probably standing up in that position. Yeah, that's pretty. Just a stump, but you know, a lot of you guys and ladies, you can take something like this, let it continue to dry out, and maybe lay a big seashell right there or something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Would you do that? Stump? Yeah, I would do that. What? Do you want it? Uh, no. Nah. We got enough if you want to um, pull it in this wagon. We got enough driftwood. It is pretty. Let's go. Leave it. <laughs> he Leave almost it. talked himself Leave into it. having to tow the big piece of driftwood sand dollar it That's is deceased it, even though it is still the green color it is deceased another plane and how would you clean that up stuff um some clorox yep just Bleach. um pure clorox or a mixture a uh, mixture i put a little bit of water in mine but really if you want them to do it pretty fast you're gonna have to use pretty high strength clorox if not you're gonna have to leave them in the Clorox for a long time. So I feel sure they probably weaken the shell the same either way. But you know, bleach is not good for the integrity of it. It makes it even more fragile, so. Wow, look at these. Some of our big cockles. Awesome, giant cockle right there. And look at that little crab shell. Beautiful little spotted crab. And I do have a little collection of these. How about here? The hinged arc. Now, let's move on along. We got to get to the end of this beach. Uh, the tide has started coming back in. Um, if you've been following along, you know that we initially got out here on the low tide. We've already come down to water's edge and stuff through tidal areas and stuff without people out here. And now we're walking this high tide line. And a lot of things to think about when you're out here on these beaches, guys. If you ever want to come explore on one of these beaches, 
always check the tides check the weather know what the tide is going to do so when you anchor your boat up there on that um beach and you return to it you got the timing with the tide everything fishing and everything we do down here revolves around the time the tides and the time and look at that pretty moon snail shark eye that will be a good one to to dip yeah we keep saying um you know <laughs> a lot of people ask us if we clean ourselves have we cleaned any of our shell yeah that's a pin pretty shell? pin shell it's actually whole got a lot of dirt in it and the answer to that is no these welts and stuff we typically do not <laughs> we both clean wanted them. it something at the same time look at that angel wing right there with that coral build up on it wow if you can keep that uh from breaking that's gonna be good and try to very fragile but so yeah we had not cleaned any of our welt shells yet but that may be something coming i'm hearing that muriatic acid would be good for cleaning the shells i've seen other people do it on some of the channels and you know they basically just get muriatic acid out of lowe's or somewhere walmart and they dip the shells down in it real two or three seconds look at it so it's something that we can do and if you guys really want to see something like that how about let us know yeah we'll do some we we leave ours natural on purpose i mean we just don't mess with it just because it's going to be outside for the most part but and we can we, clean some look at that big spider crab shell and teeny tiny little whelk so we would be able to share a lot of videos like that with you guys we would actually be able to share more videos like that than anything else that we could do because it does take time to come out here to these barrier islands and stuff you know fuel and the boat fuel keeping your boat running but shells like this we could dip them for you guys and just reveal the true colors that's underneath it i've seen some shells when they do it you know the, it doesn't even look like the shells gonna be like it is that some of them are just amazing the, yeah the results i've seen and look there's an olive right here and here's a little shark eye shell and he's deceased but you can see he still got the, his energy in him and he may make it i don't know but we're gonna leave him yeah, he's we don't want him because he's gonna be stinky anyhow and we you can see enough of them you can see his anatomy now i mean since he's dead and not trying to just come in at all but you see the snail parts of him his foot and his operculum I thought it was going to be sponge, but that's wood, isn't it? It's actually a piece of the palm tree. Yeah. Or palmetto tree. South Carolina state tree. Yeah, our, our coastal area has lots of palmettos. We're surrounded by palmettos and live oaks in this area and longleaf pine. That's part of the palmetto he's talking about right there. And I love to see pieces of wood that are like this. So you can look at that and tell that it was definitely a piece of wood. But look at that. You can see all those little tiny holes in there where the animals and barnacles and different little creatures have lived. That is cool. And I wonder if it's some type of worms and what really those animals are that do that. Some type of born worms, maybe? Uh, I've seen like those little tiny clams in them, so, but I don't really know what kind of clam it is. They look kind of like teeny blue mussels. You know what I'm talking about? Not really. But. Look at there. It's got some of the same. Markings on yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe that's some type of boring animal in this area or some type of sea creature boring. Look at the big cockles here. Look at the difference in the colors. Gorgeous. Beautiful. 
an orange and kind of a beige. I'll take one. I'll take the orange. Works for me. There's one of those blue muscles I was just talking about. Look at this one. And that was coming. another one. Yep. Pin shell. The red sea star. Ooh, and look at there. Another type of sea urchin that we love to find. Sand dollar. Five hole, keyhole sand dollar. And that one's already bleached out. Moving. Look at here. Well, let me look at this too. The shark eye egg collar right here. So that's the egg casing for a shark eye shell. Is that just a tiny angel wing or a false angel wing stuff? I don't know. You know, we learned about the fallen angel wing, and they fallen? had a they had a side okay. that is sharded off like that. But I don't I don't think that's it. Actually, it may be. Look at the colors in this arm. Shell stories. If you're watching, you're the one who told us about the fallen angel wing. So let us know if that is correct. Look at this arc. Look at the colors in it. That is gorgeous. Looks like a sunset fallen on top of a shell. seashell. Another sand dollar. Look Beautiful jingle. It's got a little hole in it. Another one of those shark eye collars. The egg collar. Oh, that's broke, but I was going to show you the little orange cockle razor clam. Lots of oysters. Ear. Yep. Kind of shaped just like a man's ear. Yep. A sailor's ear. Also Can a you channel imagine duck it? clam. Piece of coral. Look at that big jingle there. Pretty little welt right there about a piece of drift here. Yeah, it is. Leave that one. How about a look out there? Ooh, love that sound. Jellyfish. Deceased. Driftwood. Part of the root system, I'm sure. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What you guys think? Let me look at that white moon snail right there. See? Look at that driftwood. The little horseshoe crab, his tail's broken off, but little horseshoe crab shell. Oh. Trash. Yeah. Don't forget guys, if you see trash on the beach, try to take it with you. Back up right there for me, stuff. We'll get a picture with you.
took that long to get one picture. Broad ribbed cardita with an oyster shell growing on it and coral. Pretty little arc shell with its hole already naturally drilled into it by the animal that caused its demise. Whatever killed this arc drilled that hole right there into it. And it very well could have been a whelk, such as that broken one. Kind of interesting right here is a piece of metal off of probably a boat or something that maybe piece of rigging off of the boat or something could have broke off anything yep you gonna put it in the trash i'll just throw that in there get it off the beach rusting oh sand dollar don't run over it i was about to step on that one It is deceased. You see how far away the water is and it's actually gone out another, what, hour or so, hour and a half and come back in. So it's a long ways. He's trying to take some pictures for you guys. Y'all make sure y'all give him a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet, if you like these beach adventures. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. That's from when he takes pictures and things like that. He usually puts it on Facebook. Sometimes on Instagram. So check us out there as well. Gorgeous. Nice one. It is a nice one. I'm seeing something right here, stuff. Look at it washed up right here. Did we uncover that down there, Steph? Yeah, I think that's when I said I hated to leave. The inside is so pretty and orange, but the back side of it's busted. I didn't show it to them. You want me to show it? No, I'll go grab it. got it look at how gorgeous but wah, wah, wah. wow and from that angle uh, you can't even really tell it all i'm telling you now if you leave this you're gonna get some comments about you could have left it laying like this I've, I've and the inside could have been hard to leave so are you gonna leave it put it in the wagon you sure you, you taught me into it put it in the wagon well the wagon ain't full so at least we can put it in there there shells shells and more shells is what we're seeing beautiful i say that so much and i mean it every time beautiful. i love to hear the comments from people on when they see this beat stuff you know how many hours they could come out here and just sit here and shell or walk around and shell it some of them would love to just sit here you know and just watch the tide go in and out and the other ones are explorers they're kind of like us you know exactly right. we're all different but we're all the same right yeah you can all enjoy and admire the beauty look at the angel wing It's a little muddy, but she'll clean up pretty. We'll rinse her out. Definitely. And look here. Beautiful. 
sea urchin. And you see there's no movement on any of the phyla. Actually, it's already kind of dry. It's flaking off. So it's a deceased sand dollar. Recently deceased. Yes, very recently deceased. So we move on. this little guy the little red sea star recently deceased yep sad sometimes but you know that's nature yep. you're gonna see it if you come out to these beaches you're gonna find stuff like this these marine animals and stuff washed up dead and, and that's what all these shells are they're all skeletons of snails or you know gastropods and other univalves and bivalves and all that that were alive at one time and these are their skeletons that they've left behind Imagine they do get recycled that. sometimes whereas a hermit crab will find a shell and move into it and that would be considered the exoskeleton right stuff right. that's right shark eye. that's what shells are a slipper and a whelk that's the knobbed whelk look at here this is deceased as well recently deceased and you could keep it they will dry out and firm up um they just they're brittle, very, very brittle. you'd they're have to just to leave them laying around on the table or something you know out of the hands of your little kids yeah grandkids where no one would ever really mess with it because if it's handled much it's going to fall apart that's right little pretty shark eyes there You know, I love jingles. This one's kind of like a silver and gold together. Nice. One of those mermaid scales, those jingles. Crinkly ones. It looks like a waves lays potato chip. Crinkled jingle shell. Wait a minute now. That's got a chip in it still. You gonna keep it? Yeah, I am gonna keep it. Wow. What about this one? Maybe this one won't have a chip in it. Woohoo! Beautiful! Five hole, keyhole, sand dollar. Busted. Clean it out. A little hermit crab can move in there. Um.
Shellaholic ways have got us again. Got a wagon full of beauties. Oh, oh I thought it was whole. Oh, I thought he was about to step on this angel wing, guys. I was about to <laughs> throw him down for a second. <laughs> it was broke. See what I go through, guys? <laughs> that right time. there. Now we got the end of this one right here, right now. I got her in the moment. <laughs> and, you know, she's just joking around that's what we do with each other we thank you guys for coming along on another video sun's right in her eyes trying to get the best thing oh, we yeah. can for you guys but um you can see last few videos we carried you along we found all these treasures we've got tons of beach to explore or at least three quarter to a mile more to explore with you and i know some of you guys would have given me the devil about wanting to leave this so anybody that wants it hashtag beautifully broken we'll do a giveaway for this video i'll include some other beauties and you can display it and show off its beauty wait a Thanks minute check this out you can't leave without looking at this oh. this is what i'm talking about we just find so much we're out here, we're looking, there's a beauty right there. We're not showing it though. All right, Cut. catch it with the next video. We'll start See ya. doing right here. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for me. Appreciate it.